Hello, um, I wanted to re-review re this movie because I previously reviewed it. I was with this little horror group on YouTube, which the channel didn't last that long. It was kind of like body bags where one it they picked a theme for the week and then you had to review a theme for that. Sorry, for that. You had to review a movie under that theme and I did one. And I reviewed it, I just don't, I can't find the video, and then I didn't upload it to my channel, so I'm just going to re-review it, even though I haven't seen this movie in a while, which is Blood Sucking Freaks, which came out in 1976 under Troma, which everyone knows Troma because they're known for releasing very weird, funny horror movies. They're best well known for the Toxic Avenger movies, which I know I'm a sinner. I haven't seen those. And I haven't seen many trauma films. I only seen this one, Mother's Day, and Combat Shock. And I like I, I think, yeah, like I said, this was the first movie released by Trauma. And I think this was out of print for a while and they had a hard time getting it back. But they finally got it back. And I can I don't know when this one when this one was re released on DVD, but they do have a Blu-ray, and I didn't get it, but I wanted to. Um, so this one's about a musician or magician named Zardu, and he has a partner, a little midget partner called I think is Ralph. Ralph a wolf and uh, what they do is they perform these shows kind of like if you've seen Wizard of Gore it's kind of like the plot of that like he performs these shows and you can't tell like if he's actually torturing these women on stage or if he's just you know really good at it but he uses these shows to attract women to him so he can kidnap and torture them at his house and yeah this movie I'm just going to warn you, it's not PC at all, it's very misogynistic, like, and very offensive, but, you know, you got to think about, and which I, I watch exploitation movies and horror movies all the time from this decade and stuff, so I already know what I'm getting into. It's an exploitation movie, you know, it kind of has low standards and you just gotta think about the decade the period it was released in and stuff so but yeah like he keeps women in his house and like he uses like women like as tables like he'll have them as table like he'll eat off their backs like at tables he'll freaking he has one that has a dart like a dart board painted on her butt, and he throws darts at her, um, just some other stuff, like, he has these women chained in his basement, and, you know, he freaking hits them with whips and stuff, it's very, <laughs> like, nowadays it would be considered tamed, but it's still, like, kind of like, why the fuck would you make this kind of movie, um, because, like, you know, there's a lot, there's some gory scenes in it. Like, they, I cut this woman's hand, arm, uh, arm off and legs off, and she, arms and legs off. But you could tell, like, like, it's so horny nowadays because you could tell, like, it's a, a dummy they're doing it to. And the blood looks like melted crayon or red paint. Um, there's a scene, like, I guess, like, the most famous scene in the movie is a doc, they invite a, uh, I think it's a dentist over, and he comes in, and this guy, they're torturing a woman, so he's not really there to do anything with their teeth, he's just this sadistic guy, and he takes a drill out, and just, like, starts torturing the woman, like, drilling her eyeballs out, and doing all that stuff, and he drills a hole in her head, he takes a straw and starts drinking the blood out of her head, and it's just, like, what the fuck? Like, what kind of movie is this? And you just gotta... Oh, yeah, and there's this detective that's going around trying to figure out 
why are these women are missing and trying to see if like what's really going on with the the, the magic show because these people look like they're really dying on stage and like so like it kind of reminded me like the plot kind of reminded me of a uh, wizard of gore so but yeah i remember like the detective was down there and they do some, he's like trying to save the women that are chained up. And when they do, he does, Zardu comes down and he pushes Zardu into the, the, women, the pit of women and they just fuck his ass up. Like they go and attack him and stuff. And I was like, yeah, um, like this movie is not that well known either. Like I said, like, like most, some of these movies are not as well known. They can be considered cult classics. But if you're like really into like 70s exploitation movies, you probably would have he heard about this one. And I actually heard about this one because I'm friends with this guy on Facebook. And he loves like <sighs> 70s movies, especially exploitation movies. And he always told me, it's like, you need to watch this one. He's like, it's like sick and stuff, but he's like, it's really like interesting. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. And he was posted pictures of it one day, and I was like, uh, I was like, I might check this out. It's kind of weird looking. And like, the poster art so misleading. And like, the title's misleading too. Because if you read the title, you think, oh, maybe that it's a vampire movie, and it's not that at all. But yeah, anyways, that's my review.